Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney, if you are new. Today is my last attempt to offer some really easy DIY gift ideas and stocking stuffer ideas that you can throw together so easily that anybody would love. Thank you to Sherbonder for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get in to these DIYs. For this gift idea, you're gonna need a mason jar and some paint to start. So here I've got some of the hazelnut Waverly chalk paint. You want your paint to be somewhat of a cookie color, so to speak. I'm gonna take this paint and I'm going to go paint three coats of paint on the jar. Once the jar is dry, you're going to take some white paint and I'm just using the Waverly white chalk paint and you wanna paint the top of the jar and you wanna paint it with some squiggles. Basically it looked like if you had poured icing in there and it started overflowing over the jar, that's kind of the vibe you want with the white paint. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around and I'm only gonna need one coat of this paint and then just a few little touch-ups to fill in some areas. Once the white paint is dry, this is the fun part. So I'm gonna be taking my Detail Tip Sherbonder glue gun because this is the perfect little glue gun for the job. It gets you just a little bit of glue in just the areas that you want. And I'm gonna go in first with some red colored glue sticks. So I have been loving colored glue sticks this season and I've been using them so much that I have run out of so many colors. And I'm just gonna go in and put all the different red sprinkles where I want them. now. There are a little bit of strings here and there, but you can easily trim those off, no big deal. And then I'm gonna go back and do it the same thing with green. So I'm kind of doing line sprinkles, if that makes sense, a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna go back in and just do some dots in both the red and the green. And now to finish off this jar, I'm taking some of this white colored glue stick. It is my last white glue stick. I will definitely link all these products down below. And I'm telling you, if you haven't worked with the colored glue sticks, it's definitely something you probably wanna work into your projects next year because they're so fun. And I will say that having the detailed tip definitely helps when working with the colored glue sticks because you just have a little more precision. So I'm just gonna go around and outline the bottom of the little icing here. And then on the top of the jar, I'm gonna put some extra as well as put some icing drips. And then it looks like that the icing is kind of just dripping down from the top of the jar. This next DIY is a great little gift pretty much for anyone or also it can be a stocking stuffer. So you wanna start with some type of a Christmassy fabric and then you're gonna to need to be able to cut out a circle. I find that these candle lids from my Cozy Me Candles work perfectly. If you have other candle lids, Bath and Body Works, those are the perfect size for what we are making here. So I'm gonna take a fabric marker and I'm gonna go ahead and trace around the lid and then I'm just going to cut it out and I'm gonna cut three circles out of the fabric. Once your fabric circles are cut, you're gonna need three small jars. They can be any size you want. These are just some small pint jars that I had um, left over that, um, from canning projects. And I'm gonna start by filling the jars. So for the first one, you want to get some of either the peppermint puffs or these like this that kind of look like pillows because these are gonna be elf pillows. And then once you fill one of the jars up with the peppermints, then you're gonna move on to the other two and you're gonna wanna grab some red and green M&Ms. And here I'm just sorting the M&Ms red and green. Now with the red M&Ms, you could throw in brown ones because the red ones are gonna be reindeer noses. So again, you could do red and brown if you'd like to. And then the green ones are gonna turn out to be Grinch tears. Now I'm gonna grab my fabric circles and the tops of the lids here, and I'm gonna use my detail tip and put a very thin little uh, strip of glue around the top and attach it to the fabric circles. And then these are just gonna go down on top of the jars. Now you could put the fabric over the whole jar if you wanted to. This is just kind of how I chose to do it um, because I am gonna add some more embellishments to these. And then I made these tags. This is a free printable that I made for you guys. It is down below in the description box. And I'm just gonna cut these out. You've got your reindeer noses, your elf pillows, and your Grinch tears. And I'm gonna cut them out. And then once I cut them out, 
I realized I wanted to add something a little extra. So I took some of the Sherbonder glitter glue and to add kind of a 3D element to these tags, I just filled in the reindeer nose with some of the red glitter glue and it kind of puffed up. Um, and I just really liked it. I thought it looked really cute since I had it all out anyway. And then I also um, put some of the red glitter around the little circle here on the elf tag, just again, just to kind of add some 3D elements to the tags. And then once that was done, you just need to hole punch your tags and then we're ready to attach them to our jars. And to do that, I'm just gonna take some red and white Baker's twine that I got from Michael's and I'm just gonna wrap it around the top of the lid um, about three times. And then I'm just gonna tie a little bow on there and then that's it. These things are perfect. They will fit in stockings. You can go and give them to your neighbors, um, teachers, coworkers, whoever you would like just makes a cute little gift. If you wanted to kind of amp up the Grinch tiers, I did do a DIY when I did my Grinch themed DIYs where I made a little sign. All you need is a Dollar Tree sign and then print out the free printable I have. I will link that video down below and you could give both of these as a little gift. Also, I wanted to mention that the Crafting Cousins reached out to me and asked if I would like to collab with them today. So if you would like some more easy gift ideas, definitely go check out their channel and see what they have got up their sleeve. All right, this DIY is gift idea is so easy and so fun. So you're gonna wanna start with the straw dispenser. Now I picked this one up from Walmart. It was $2.97. They had turquoise, pink, orange, yellow, and blue, I believe. And you could also even get a glass one if you wanted to on Amazon or something a little fancier, but this is for a teenager. So I'm not gonna really worry about that right now. So the first thing you wanna do is just take the straws out, put them in your pantry and use them later. Then once you get that done, really all there's left to do to this is to add some words to it. So I'm gonna be using a vinyl decal that I made, but I did wanna show you a quick trick you could use with glue. So here's the printable that um, I made for you guys. What you wanna do is take a piece of parchment paper and set it, print out your printable and then set the parchment paper on top of your word. Then take your glue gun and I'm just gonna do it on the L because it's a smaller letter here. And you're just gonna basically fill it in and what you're making are some kind of, I guess, 3D raised letters. And then you can attach these to your um, dispenser very, very easily. I would recommend maybe using some super glue. I wouldn't use hot glue just because that might melt your letter a little bit and um, it wouldn't really adhere very well and it could possibly get knocked off. So definitely attach it with some kind of strong adhesive. But this is how you can basically make shapes and things um, with your glue and just let it dry for a little bit, peel it off, and then here you've got some 3D letters. Now, if you didn't wanna do the glue option, I did crick out or cut out a quick little design on my Cricut with some silver vinyl here. And all I'm gonna do is just stick it on there. And then your last step is just to add some really fun makeup brushes. And what's really awesome about this thing is it helps your brushes stay dust free. And it's just a, such a cute little gift for anybody who loves makeup. This gift idea is great for a gift or a stocking stuffer and is something that is so nice to have year round if you need to make a last minute gift for birthday parties or what have you. So I bought this whole kit from Amazon. It came with the acrylic rounds, the keychain part, as well as the little jump rings. And then it also came with a bag full of colored tassels. So the first step is to peel off one side of the acrylic round. It has kind of a little liner on it. And I just went ahead and cut out a little design on my Cricut Joy. But if you don't have a Cricut Joy, you could Mod Podge scrapbook paper on here. You could hand paint a design and seal it. You could do many different things um, to make a cute little keychain. You could get pre-made stickers, um, whatever you would like. Once I get my decal on, then I'm going to need to peel off on the other side the little liner paper as well. And then it's just a matter of putting it together. I went ahead and decided on the white tassel and then just use some pliers, put it together, and it's all done. 
Speaking of keys and keychains, we're gonna make a key fob wristlet here. So what you're gonna need for this is some cotton webbing. This is one and a quarter inch thick cotton webbing, any color that you want. They have all kinds of colors. And then I'm using seven eighths inch ribbon. You're also gonna need the little hardware, which is this little alligator, alligator clasp, and then a little key ring. So the first step is to go ahead and take your cotton webbing and then go ahead and just burn one of the ends to kind of seal it off so that it doesn't fray. And then you wanna measure out how big you need to make the wristlet. So I ended up making my cotton webbing piece 11 and a quarter inches long. And then I went ahead, once I measured it out and cut it, I went ahead and sealed the other end with the lighter as well. are ready to assemble this so the first thing you're gonna need is some heat bond and I'm just gonna take the heat bond and measure out a piece that will fit on my ribbon you're gonna take it and set it down with the paper side of the heat bond up on the ribbon and then you're gonna take your either your iron I'm just using my mini easy press and you're going to press down on it for about two seconds the directions are on the back it's just a very quick little press once you get that pressed down, you're going to peel up the paper and then you'll notice how shiny the ribbon is. That's all the, um, the adhesive. Then you're going to stick your ribbon back down onto your cotton webbing and then again, apply some more heat. Again, for this time, it's a little bit longer. I think it was an eight seconds, something like that. And you're going to go ahead and apply that all the way down. Then once that was done, I'm going to take some of the Surebonder fabric glue and I'm going to put it here at the top so that I can kind of get my two pieces really well adhered together and make sure that they don't come loose um, underneath the little bracket that I'm going to attach. And then once that was nice and dry, we're ready to attach our bracket. To attach our little alligator clip to the top, you're gonna need some type of either a towel or padding. I'm just gonna take a piece of cotton webbing because what happens is if you just squeeze that with directly with the pliers, the kind of metal on metal, it will dent that it, and it looks kind of wonky. So I'm just gonna use a piece of the <laughs> cotton webbing that I have extra and kind of uh, drape it over it. And then I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm going to squeeze um, one end and then I'm gonna squeeze the other end and I'm gonna squeeze the middle. And then I'm gonna go on um, both of the sides and squeeze those really, really tight and then it's attached. And then your last step is just to add the little key ring part and there you go. Now, if you um, have an embroidery machine, you certainly could embroider on this if you wanted to, or you could get some of the iron on letters from Hobby Lobby and put somebody's name on it if you wanted to personalize a little more, or even add little charms to this. If you, you know, school colors, you could add, um, you know, a little mascot or something like that. You could definitely add a few more things to it, but another little gift that's super easy to do. This DIY gift idea is for anyone who may be a pet owner. So first you wanna start with a one by eight board. And what I did is I sanded it down really, really smooth and made sure to hit the corners and kind of round those off. Then I took some of this Min Wax Dark Walnut Stain and I'm gonna put one good coat on top of the board. Once the board was all dry, I took a sawtooth hanger and went ahead and hammered that in the back, but you certainly could put some eye hooks on the top and hang it with some twine if you prefer. Then I took all my little pieces and kind of laid it out. I got this really cute little paw print lint roller from Target, and then I made some stencils on my Cricut, and then I'm just going to need a little um, hook to screw in there, so I kind of just marked it and then just screwed it in with my hand. It went in really, really easily, no big deal. And then once that was screwed in, I was ready to go ahead and put my stencils down. So for the stencils, this stencil paper, I or vinyl, I should say, is, I just love it so, so much. It works really, really well. I definitely have it linked down below in my description box. Um, I just find it super easy to work with. And I'm gonna take some of the Ivory Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to go ahead and dab all over my stencil. And then once my stencil's down, then all you really need to do is just seal it. You can apply a poly if you'd like to, or you can do a spray adhesive just so that that paint doesn't chip off since you do have a lint roller kind of swinging back and forth on there. And voila, the perfect gift for any pet lover. 
I wanted to share with you one of my favorite gift things that I made. Um, it was a couple years ago and it was these little baskets here. Most of the stuff came from Dollar Tree, so you just need a container and some filler from Dollar Tree. Throw in some candy, where it's, whether it's the box candy or just some little mini packs of M&Ms. I grabbed a Dollar Tree mini Coca-Cola glass and filled it with some Dr. Pepper jelly beans. There's a Cinemark gift card, but you could do a red box. Then the popcorn container is also from Dollar Tree. And then I made a sugar cookie, which if you missed my video recently, go check it out. It's linked down below. It will tell you how to decorate cookies. But I took the royal icing and made it look like little pieces of popcorn and then printed out a little tag that says for a very popular teacher, but you could do boss, friend, neighbor, kid, whatever you'd like. It was super popular. And then I just glued on a little Golden Globe statue to the front. And there you go, another quick look at these easy DIYs. Let me know down below in the comments, what is your go-to easy last minute gift idea? Let's share some ideas for those people who may be looking for more ideas. I will link all the products that I use today as well as any of the video tutorials I mentioned down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm excited for the next two videos coming up. I will see you in the next one. Bye.